Oh my goodness, I can see them from here in the mug section too. Absolutely gorgeous Mexican pottery mugs. This one looks like it has a massive crack on the top, but let me turn it over and show you the mark you should definitely be on the lookout for. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. I am here at the post office. I just dropped off a boatload of parcels and packages, eBay and direct sales. It's very exciting. And now I am headed over to my favorite Goodwill, which is only about five minutes away. It's another gorgeous day in Vegas. 99 degrees at just after 2.30 in the afternoon. Quite a bit of traffic. So as I say, it's only about five minutes away. I've got a couple of hours to shop and then I'm a special guest on Cat the Nurse Flippers channel at uh, five o'clock Vegas time. So I have a busy afternoon ahead of me. So this time next week, my family will be on our annual fishing trip to Navajo Lake. But fear not, there is thrifting at the base of the hill. We always stop at Deseret Industries before we go on up the 26 miles to Navajo Lake Lodge. And while we're up there, I'm going to uh, take some footage of metal detecting and fishing. And I'm sure Bear, our German Shepherd, will have the time of his life hiking in the mountains and out on the boat and his favorite food is actually a trout. It's a beautiful Tuesday afternoon and we are at my favorite Goodwill. Uh, let's peek through the window and see what the color of the day is. It looks like it is green. Let's go inside and see what we can find. Let's go thrifting. There she is. How are you? Good. Let's grab a cart. I've got my Thrifting Vegas blanket and my reusable shopping bags. Color of the day is green. Let's make our way to the back of the store where all the hard goods are. If you enjoy little cleaning and restoration projects, don't be afraid to pick up things at Goodwill that need a little love and TLC. I often pick up wooden bowls that may be dried out, a little bit peely, a little bit cracky, and I use some sandpaper and mineral oil to bring them back to beautiful. I actually have a video showing exactly how to do just that and I will pop it down below here and I will also link it in the description so you can pick up a worse for wear bowl at Goodwill and try your hand at giving it a new lease on life. Here we are in the hard goods and I've already spotted a really sweet little elephant. Look at this fellow. He's really, really simple. Looks like he's signed under that 99 cent sticker. Let's see if we can have a look here. I think that says coal with a little symbol. But he's lovely, just a nice rich gold color, quite mid-century looking. Back here is a totem. Unfortunately, the bison's horn is missing. That's really sad. But we'll grab the elephant. Let's make our way around here and see what else there is. There's a lovely little bird in a hat here <laughs> on a sunflower. And here is a super planter staying with the elephant theme. It's a lovely green color, only $2.99. His trunk is up for good luck. Would be wonderful with an air plant or a little potted plant in him. Let's keep going. Some figurines here. 
What's this? Oh, look, this is a little holy water font. It looks like it's Hummel. Little angel girl. Yeah, Hummel Gobel from West Germany. I really like her. I think I'm going to have a look on eBay and see what she's selling for. I've got my other phone out. I've typed in Hummel Holy Water Font. Let's have a look and see if we can find her. There seem to be quite a few variations. That one's similar. I'm not sure why it's $10, possibly a chip or a repair. That seems awfully low. I would say the average price is about 25 to 35 on this one. Let's have a look at the solds. We'll push filter up here. We'll scroll down to sold items. We'll click off. Look at that. 34. There's a 30. That's similar, not exactly the same, but for 99 cents, definitely worth picking up. I've found what I think is a Mark Roberts pixie. I've pulled it forward so you can get the full effect, but it's fantastic. The white outfit, the wings, and just the detail of its face. It's absolutely amazing. Look at the crystals. I've kept going down the aisle here. Oh, look at these crosses. My son, Jake, found a baggie full of crosses a couple of months ago when he was with me and he picked them up and he could have sold those over and over. They were absolutely fabulous. So many of you were interested. Bless your hearts. I so appreciate it. These are wonderful. They look like Mexican pottery. They're blue and white and they're similar but not exactly the same so they would look great paired together even with this metal one too. And this looks like it's a whistle. It's a little face on one side and it's painted on the other. So let's grab all four of these pieces carefully and we will pop them in our cart carefully. There we go. This is a little box. I thought it might be uh, porcelain, but it's plastic. I absolutely love this lady. She looks a bit like a Kokeshi doll, but she's all fabric. But she's really nicely made. I absolutely love her earrings. We'll take her. There's a planter back there with foxes on that looks really, really interesting. It looks like a project piece. It's very, very unique. And I'm also <laughs> seeing here a lovely perfume bottle that I'm interested in. It's clear with some gold uh, trim at the bottom. It's a bit worn, but that just adds to its charm. It looks so vintage. We'll take that. Let's pull this foxy planter forward and have a look. I absolutely love the color palette. It's so simple, yet so effective. It's signed on the bottom, EM17, and it looks like what they've done is painted it and then used a tool to etch the paint away to give um, a really nice detailed effect. That is really lovely and unique. Just wanted to look at this little frame. I was curious as to why he had an A on his hat. We'll take our planter and our perfume bottle and put them carefully in the cart. There we go. Here we have a little glass that's been hand painted. A little Asian trinket tray. Looks quite old at the front, but um, often these are encased in metal when the edges are damaged. There's a cloche here. Little party light candle holder. 
some silver plated coasters. I always check these because occasionally you find something that actually is solid silver. This is an Italian souvenir piece. This piece is very interesting to me. I think it is a project piece where someone has created this Egyptian themed uh, metal featuring the sun and pyramids and a sphinx and then attached it to a stone oval base. It is weird and wonderful and just interesting enough for me to pick that up for four dollars. If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Down here we have some Southwest pottery. These are souvenir pieces. I'm going to leave them. Look at this saucer. This is definitely English. Oh, it's Caldo of England. I am going to pop this in the cart and see if by any chance the cup is in the mug section over there. If it is, it could be worth about 20 to $25. Some clear glass bowls. It's a German souvenir plate here. We've priced that up at eight dollars. This is pretty. A Goldinger Petit Fleur little flower set. Twenty dollars, and now I know that uh, at that price I just won't be able to make a profit on eBay. This is a really, really heavy piece, very pretty platter, but uh, quite heavy. These are some souvenir pieces from Peru. This is the candle section. These three big Christmas trees are still here. Here's a little hand-painted fish, like a sardine. I'm not sure what he's for probably just decoration. Lots of little glass pieces, toothpick holders probably. That one's a bit unsteady. Votive holders. All sorts of pretty glass pieces. Oh, look at this elephant. He's crying. Here's a stack of bobeches. These are candlestick collars. If these were glass, I would definitely pick them up, but they're actually plastic, so I'm going to leave them. Let's check these. These are not even silver plated, just modern silver tone candlesticks. Here's quite a fun bunny. Look at his face. <laughs> There's a couple of glass votives here. I think these originally came in a set of three. Um, yeah, they are modern pieces. It's a little canister. Oh, this is a nice piece of old glass. Look at that color. It's sort of a peachy amber. I might come back for that one. More plates. That's intentionally crackled. More platters and bowls, canisters, here's a decanter, there's a monogram on there. This is an Indiana glass uh, diamond point ruffle dish. More candlesticks. Oh, there's some more of that peachy glass. Look at that color. I like the scrolls on the edges and it's divided into four. And here's another one, a similar color. Let's pop that on there. I think I'm gonna take all three of these old 
uh, amber glass pieces. Here's a little family of bunnies. It's 99 cents. I think it's a reproduction of um, a Yadro style. I'm seeing the little bunny's ear has a crack and repair on there. So I think that's going to be a deal breaker on a piece like this. Let me just check under here. Yeah, I think that would have been a made in China sticker. So let's leave that. This is the seasonal section, everything but Christmas, lots of fall and Halloween. What's this? Oh, I'll eat my words. These are Christmas crackers, a really fun English tradition for the Christmas dinner table. Um, one person holds one end, the other person holds the other. You pull and there's a big pop. It splits open and inside is usually a party hat and a prize. Those are fun. There's another box here. Let's have a look at these. There's more in this box. But the prizes look to be geared towards younger children. So I will leave those for somebody else and take this box for Christmas this year. Let's pop it down here with my lovely divided glass piece. Pop that on there carefully and let's keep going. Noticing Peter Rabbit here. These are just little gift boxes. What else do we have? Placemats. That lovely Easter wreath is still here with all these eggs. Could definitely stock up for Easter next year. Easter grass, a little bunny votive holder, some kitcheny bits in the seasonal section, lots of baskets. Let's pop around this corner, some Christmassy wreaths here. More Easter bits. And here is our well stocked Christmas aisle. Ornaments. It's more of those plates that uh, so many of you are interested in. I think uh, I've sent them out to all that ordered. But if anybody else is interested in the polka dot and red bow dishware, um, they are still appearing at the thrift stores. So do let me know. Here's a big 2009 winter bear. And ribbons and ornaments and wreaths. Everything you could possibly need for Christmas. I love boxes. Let's have a look in here. This is perfect for a little gift card. All the little Christmas trees on it. So much to look at. Martha Stewart. These are quite whimsical. I am shooting for $20 items. I often miss the mark at 15, but uh, that is my goal to find a $20 items to list and sell. There are some stocking holders. I think these came from big lots. Here's a Starbucks mug in the Christmas section. Look at this. Now this one I think is less available. So I'm going to pop it in the cart and have a look at um, up on eBay sold just to see 
how much it's worth. Just checking through to see if there might be another one to match it. Over here is the wood and frames and plaques and shelves. This one says, Dad's remotes. That's fun. Let's head this way and have a look and see what they have. Wag more, bark less. That's lovely. <laughs> Here is a souvenir set, coasters and a tray. Six dollars, definitely more modern piece. Has a barcode. Not as vintage as I would like. Little wire art, those are fun. Apple and pear. It's a dinosaur cutting board back there. I think this is the same Irish blessing that was on that cross we found earlier, the metal one. Here is a carved wood elephant, tusks removed. Unfortunately, he's really worse for wear. The scuffs don't bother me, but his base is completely broken in half. Unfortunately, there is just a massive crack on the base. So unfortunately, that is going to be a deal breaker. Let's leave him on the shelf. What's this? Oh, look at this little German. Uh, is it a hen house? Or oh, I think it's a cabin and it's a music box. For three dollars. It looks if that might have been overwound, but what I am told uh, that it can they can be fixed if they've been overwound. But nevertheless, even if it doesn't work, it's a lovely little folk art uh, piece, a lovely little cabin, some German uh, words above the door there, and the chicken on top. It is lovely. Let's pop that in the cart. Little Thanksgiving hanging there. Look at all these baskets. More plaques and signs. Wreaths. Look at this owl. Oh, he's lovely. Unfortunately, all his little scrolls are missing on his right ear there, but his eyes are fantastic. He's not ever such good quality. I think he's probably a big lots piece. He's just really fun. I'm sad he's worse for wear. Some Native American art pieces here. They're really, really heavy. They're mounted on that particle board. That was popular in the 70s. There's another bigger piece down there. I'm sure that's really, really heavy. Box. always so many of these knife blocks. It's a little plaque here. Lots of these plaques come from Joanne's or Home Goods. Some little patriotic boxes. Here 
Here we are in the vases and this looks like recycled glass made in Spain. Really, really heavy. I love the shape of it though. It's only $4, but I'm going to leave that for someone else. This looks like an Ikea piece. It's a lovely green faceted vase. Let's see, as always, many, many florists pieces, lots of clear. Plant pots for the garden, some terracotta here. Oh, this is interesting. This looks like it's been painted though painted with like a salmony peach color it was originally clear and these have been beaded people are very creative with their vases it's a pretty piece that's a mass-produced piece they're very lightweight not pottery and that on the other hand is extremely heavy this is a florist piece I do like the floral design this is recycled glass. Really big, heavy recycled glass pieces just don't ship well and the cost of shipping makes it quite cost prohibitive unless you have a really valuable piece. Lots of silk plants and flowers. Always check the vases that these silks are in because you never know. I've found some Royal Hager pieces, um, some Roseville with silk plants stuffed in them. There's a tendency to focus on the floral pieces rather than the actual vase. Here's a martini shaker. metal pieces, trays and bowls and racks. It's a little music box here. I don't often find treasures in the metal section, but it's always worth a look. You never know. My dad found a pair of solid silver uh, salt and pet pepper shakers in, in his metal section. So since then, uh, I check this area every single time, just in case. Sconces. Here's a little Coco Pele. It's a really lightweight metal souvenir piece. Racks. Holders. Wall hangings. Little sconces here. Beaded. Here's a metal tray back here. That's made in England. It's interesting. A little bit worse for wear, it seems a bit scratched up. Oh my goodness, I can see them from here in the mug section too. Absolutely gorgeous Mexican pottery mugs. This one looks like it has a massive crack on the top. But let me turn it over and show you the mark you should definitely be on the lookout for. These are Ceramica Mara ever such a popular brand of beautifully etched and glazed stoneware mugs and other pieces too. I'm going to leave the horsey one, but this one is a cave art rock face oversized mug. Just checking it over for any damage, but it appears to be in perfect condition. So I'm definitely 
going to pop this one in the cart. As I always say, if you find something you like, take a moment to check all the shelves nearby because there might just be more of the same. Look at these glass spider goblets. They're absolutely fantastic. They're really, really tall. They're a dark red glass with uh, a purple spider web painted and the spider has um, crystals inlaid or stuck onto the glass there. They're in really nice condition and there is a pair of them. I don't have a booth anymore. If I did, I would definitely pick these two up, but I'm just not comfortable shipping anything as large and delicate as these, so I'm going to leave them for someone else. Just showing you the whole shelf here so you can see just how many glasses they have at this Goodwill. So many pretty pieces. Look at these martini glasses with a swirl. There's two of these. And up here, there's some similar wine glasses. Not ever such good quality, but very pretty. Shot glasses and tumblers. Martini glasses, margarita glasses, juice glasses, mugs. These are interesting, made to look vintage. Ooh, what is this back here? This looks like a Mille Fiore bubble glass. These are sold in sets and they do quite well. Sets of four and six. Um, I'm gonna pop this in the cart just out of interest and look up and see what they're selling for at the moment. This is an anchor hocking little heart glass. It's only 69 cents. Let's take a minute and look this up on eBay. So I have looked up anchor hocking heart vase. And as you can see, they're listed between $9 and $12. Let's look at the solds. Oopsie. Only one sold for $10.99. So we are going to leave that for someone else. I just turned around in the aisle here and noticed the dome of a fairy light here on the shelf. Now the base of this is a very tall pedestal. I'm not sure whether it's clear or also amber, but we're going to pop it in the cart and have a look on these shelves to see if by any chance it's got separated from its base. This is the plates and dishes and bowls aisle. These are quite nice rice bowls here. They're pottery pieces. The holes in the sides are actually chopsticks rests, which is very, very fun. Let's see. Ooh, these are Homer Laughlin, like an Egyptian key design. These tend to sit in my store, unfortunately, so I'm going to leave them. Those are pretty too. Here is the lamp and light section. I'm not seeing any glass pieces. Here we are in the kitcheny bits. Lots of glass. This is a little reproduction of a vintage postage scale. 
shouldn't really be in this section, should it? But it just goes to show it pays to check every single shelf and aisle, even the ones where you don't think you're going to find anything interesting. Here are coloured glass pieces. This is a massive console bowl. Really, really heavy. It's ceramic with gold trim. It's a modern piece. Ever so heavy. It's quite a pretty leaf. It's reverse painted. Some interesting bowls there. Some casino giveaway blue bakers. And a fun little individual teapot. This is a little margolin bastin. Uh, soap dispenser in a watering can. It's about a uh, 10 to $12 piece. A false graph butter dish. Please stay tuned for my haul at the end of the video. I show you everything I bought, tell you what I paid, and what I expect to get for it. Everything you see in the haul is available for direct purchase. So if you're interested in something you see at the price I mention, please drop me an email to thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. This is an Oneida enamel little scallop dish, about 10 to $12. It's a pretty serving platter, Cumberland. Oh, look at this tray down here. It's inlaid shell, unfortunately, it's a bit damaged. Came from Ross, quite heavy. It's a pestle and mortar here, that is really, really heavy. Lots of lids. Travel mugs. Look at this. Oh, it's a little candy dispenser. These are great. They sell ever so well for me. You put the candy in the mason jar, pull on this little knob, and it dispenses it down the chute there. Really like these. This one's nicely made. Is it in good condition? We'll pop that in the cart, which is way over here. <laughs> there we go. We are going to take our usual stroll through the lamps and small appliances, golf clubs and bicycles, a little bit of furniture. Oh, I'm noticing this vase on this nice vintage table here. Oh, I thought it was ceramic, but it's actually a resin reproduction piece. Very lightweight. They have couches. Not really seeing anything interesting in the art here. I'm rushing over here because I see what I think might be a vintage shelf here behind this couch. Here on my counter is everything I found at Goodwill. Today, Bandit is in the box. He's supervising the whole operation here. He's inspected all the goods and now it's time for a nap.
First, we have our gorgeous little Hummel holy water font here. It's a lovely little praying angel. She has a halo with yellow and blue flowers at her feet. It's in gorgeous condition. No chips, cracks or repairs. It's signed on the back, MJ Hummel 913 and the little West Germany mark there too. She has a hole in the top for hanging. I paid 99 cents for her and I'm going to ask $20. I found this trio of crosses together on the shelf this is a pewter cross. It has the Irish blessing on it. It's a Celtic piece. It has a little hanger on the back there. I paid 99 cents and I'm going to ask $15. You can see how nicely these three pieces go together, even though they're quite different. The two pottery pieces are different to the metal, but they do complement each other. I absolutely love these. They are crazed pottery. I love the blue with the grey white colour. The back is unglazed. Again, they have a hook for hanging. This one has a little chip on the corner there i just noticed that but you can't see it from the side or the front let's have a look at this one this one has uh, sort of scalloped edges and this one is completely squared off but they do match this one doesn't have any damage at all paid 99 cents for these and again i'm going to ask 15 dollars a piece this is a little whistle. It's so fun. One side is a little face and the other side has a painted turtle on it. It's lovely. And then you'd blow into the hole and it's a little uh, flute whistle. You can adjust the notes with your fingers on the top here. Really fun, lovely little piece. I paid a dollar for it. I'm going to ask $15. Let's pop over this way. I was excited to find this fairy lampshade. I believe it's an Ellie Smith piece. It's just the top, unfortunately. I couldn't find the pedestal base anywhere. But uh, fingers crossed, somebody is looking for one of these in this sort of dark. Uh, ambery, smoky, brown colour. Really pretty. It doesn't have any damage to it. I paid 99 cents for it. I'm going to ask $20. This is a lovely minty green Starbucks mug. It almost has a wood-like floral pattern in relief on there. I've peeled the label. It's dated 2022. It's in lovely condition. No chips or cracks. Has Starbucks on the inside. I paid two dollars for it and I'm going to ask twenty dollars. I fell in love with this little Asian lady here. She's absolutely beautiful. She's got a sleeping baby on her shoulder. She is all fabric covered and the detail is amazing. She's got a little bun in her hair, a bow up top. And I love her little bead earrings. Beautiful painted face. I paid 99 cents for her and I'm going to ask $15. I do so well with these elephant planters. Trunk up for good luck. Lovely green glaze. 
got some age on the base there perfect for an air plant or just a little cactus or potted plant I paid three dollars for him and I'm going to ask twenty dollars if you've never had one of these they're really really fun there's a mason jar on top and you can fill it with nuts or bubble gum or candy, whatever you'd like. And you pull out the little drawer here and it dispenses whatever you have in the jar down the chute and into your hand. Great for grandkids. My kids really love theirs. <laughs> and I do really well selling them. I paid $2.99 for this one, $3.00. And I'm going to ask a $25. Back here, we have a box of Christmas crackers. I explained how they worked in the video. They're really, really fun. It's an English tradition. These are going to appear on our Christmas table this year. This is a little music box. It has some German words on the front. It's a little cabin and I thought it was jammed in the store and uh, I finally figured out that you have to pull this little wood piece to get it to work. So let me wind it just a bit and we can see, we'll see if we can get it to play. As you can hear, it does play, but it's a bit uh, manky and grimy in there, I think, and I think that's the trouble. If somebody wants to take the time, oh, and it's still playing, <laughs> even with that pushed in. Oh, there we go. If somebody wants to take the time to take the staples out and give the music box a good blowout and good clean, it will probably work just fine. I did want to rescue it though, because it's a lovely, lovely piece. The detail is gorgeous. Just really fun with the chicken on top. I paid $3 for it and I'm going to ask $15. This piece really intrigued me. And I think it's somebody's project. Let me see if I can, there we are. It's a, metal disc showing the sun and three pyramids and a sphinx and there's a screw bolting it down to this piece of I believe it's soapstone it's not ever such hard stone but it's stone it's really really fascinating so unique I have never seen a piece like this just interesting. So if anybody is interested in Egyptian pieces, it is quite the conversation starter here. I paid $4 for it. I'm going to ask $20. Here is our sweet little elephant friend here. He is brassy gold painted ceramic. I just love his simplicity, trunk up for good luck. He is a hand done piece, signed coal. And that looks like a little symbol, an S-P-J-E, S-P-G-E. Not really sure, but he is lovely. I paid, what did I pay? Just a dollar for him. And I'm going to ask $15. This is our beautiful stoneware mug by Mara. Do be on the lookout for her pieces. She was uh, very, very, very successful when she was alive. And now her family, I believe, has continued her successful line of stoneware with designs she had already created. This is a 
rock wall cave art style piece with native bears on it. It's got some good weight to it. It's quite oversized, really lovely, heavy piece. Very, very nice. I paid $2 for it and I'm going to ask 25. I love vintage glass. And what is fascinating to me is how these pieces last so long and uh, they've obviously been used and loved. These three are just each slightly different colors, which is fascinating to me. They're sort of a peachy, peachy color, not really yellow, not really amber, but definitely a peach. Each is slightly a different shade. I don't think they're all the same maker, but I love all of them, especially the beautiful scrolls on the tops, on the um, handle part of this one. This one's divided into four. I paid $2.00. $2, dollars two dollars a piece for them i am going to ask 20 20 and 25. i found these two pieces side by side and i honestly didn't know which one to grab first look at this bottle it's absolutely gorgeous now the pattern reminds me of anchor hocking wexford but I'm not really sure. And I don't know if this is the original stopper. The stopper is a hard plastic material and it's really, really wedged in the top there. So I'm not going to try to remove it. It's definitely vintage, really, really pretty. It could be a perfume bottle, could have been dressing. I'm not sure, it's just lovely and it would look beautiful in in a uh, perfume bottle collection paid 99 cents for it i am going to ask 20 dollars last but not least possibly my favorite piece of the trip is this unique foxy planter look at his face there's a different scene on every side but the scene carries on around the corner. See how the tree carries on? It's the fox and this log, this fallen tree carries on around the corner. It's just such a lovely design. And as I said, it's painted black and orange and the paint has been etched away to give a design in relief, which is fantastic. I just love the colours, I love the style. It's not in perfect condition. It does have some little chips all the way around here, but I don't think that detracts from the piece. It's just gorgeous, gorgeous. It's on little pedestal feet, signed EM17003. I have never seen anything like this and I absolutely love it. I paid three dollars for it. I'm going to ask 35. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my shopping trip to Goodwill and the haul. Please stay tuned for some fun footage of Ziggy and Bear. If you see anything you're interested in purchasing, please drop me an email, thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. Please include your name, your mailing address, the item you're interested in, and the price I quoted. And I will see you next time. Bye.
Ziggy. What you looking at? What you looking at? Taking a nap. Sleepy puppy. He's a good boy. I am so excited to announce the arrival of my new Thrifting Vegas merchandise. I've worked with Teespring to bring you sweatshirts, tank tops and t-shirts and they are available on my homepage under the store tab. The link will take you to teespring.com. Thank you so much for your support.